Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. You know, one thing that we kind of hit on here and there back and forth is uh, the trademarks that come from Frontier that have kind of, you know, been in front of us for years. And a lot of us, you know, know that they kind of just do a lot of these trademarks like just in case trademarks just to kind of cover their butts. Um, even if they never have any intention of making any of these games, you know, studios will hold these just in case. You never know down the line. Uh, but that's kind of what the question of this video is. What do you realistically think could happen with any of these? And do you think they will ever come? And I would think that as far as the next three creative management simulation games go, I would not look for back-to-back -back planet games. I don't even know if I would look for planet game, other game, planet game. Uh, because, you know, we kind of know through the verbiage of the uh, your financial statements and the financial presentations from Frontier that uh, we're basically looking at getting one in 2024, another one in 2025, and perhaps even another one in 2026. So we could be going three years in a row with new Frontier Creative Management Simulation games. And I don't think they would do Planet Games back to back. That just doesn't seem like something that would happen. I think that would just, it would almost seem like to me that it would kill the momentum of the originally released Planet game. Um, say they get a Planet Coaster 2 rolling that a lot of us think could possibly be coming next. But then you're talking about a year later dropping a Planet Hospital? or a Planet Golf, a Planet City. I just think that the crossover from these Planet games is so like close knit that you would almost be just sacrificing that first game just because so many people would jump over to the new one for no other reason, just because it's new. Um, I think that they would let the Planet games breathe a little bit. I don't, like I said, I don't even know if out of the three, if one of them would be a planet series, a planet universe game, and then that's it. Until maybe a planet zoo two, maybe by 2030, maybe in the 2030s. I think anybody that thinks a planet zoo two is coming anytime before 2030, you're, I think you're being delusional. I do not think that is going to happen. There's no way that they make that happen, particularly with just now in 2024, they're getting the ball rolling on a console version. Um, a lot of us can also go down the next road, which a lot of you really, really comment and would love to see, and that is hybrids. You wouldn't believe over the years how many comments I've got from people saying, give us a Planet Coaster 2 Planet Zoo hybrid. I want to be able to do my Animal Kingdom. I want to be able to do my Bush Gardens Tampa. Uh, I want to be able to build a zoo and a theme park all together in the same game. I think that's one of those things that's never going to happen for us because we want it so much. Like, it seems like Frontier has a history of like giving us what we think we didn't need, but kind of be, be being kind of cool. I think we all just like the if we, like okay, take for instance, everybody wanted water parks and Planet Coaster, we didn't get them. Everybody wants birds in Planet Zoo, probably not gonna get them. Everybody wants aquariums in Planet Zoo, probably not gonna get them. I think it's like when all of us collectively get together and want something, we need to not talk about it because the moment 90% of the community gets behind something and says, where is this? We want this. Please give this to us. Frontier will do the exact opposite. You will absolutely not get what you're asking for. So I think we need to collectively keep it amongst ourselves. Don't ask for water parks and planet zoo or it'll be six years and they will never give it to us. We need to ask for like, uh, so, I don't know, some kind of space expansion or something, and then we'll get water parks. So I think that has always been something extremely weird and frustrating with Frontier. They, it's like they never pivot to what the massive requests are. Now, of course, finally, the comments of when's it coming to console going away, but 
that was kind of a given. I think everybody knew eventually Planet Zoo would come to console, but the birds and the water parks and the aquariums, those have never been a given. But they've been requested by millions of people. It's like we tell Frontier stuff that we want that would literally give them a license to print money and they don't develop that. They, like, they'll give us a Planet Golf or something. Like, they'll give us something nobody's asked for. Um, and so, you know, that's just kind of what I wanted to pose on this video. What do you realistically see happen? Do you think a Planet Hospital happens? Planet Golf? Planet City, Planet Soccer, high up on my list, Planet Resort, Planet Daddy, Planet Planet, Planet Coaster 2. I, that is um, that is just kind of like my question for this. Yeah, what direction do they go and what sounds plausible to you in Planet Universe's future? So... Let me know down below. I just, uh, I thought that, you know, we, we, every once in a while, like I said, we cover the trademarks and things we've seen. And also, too, um, th there's a Planet Prison trademark. Now, we know on May 26th, Prison Architect 2 is dropping. Um, so a lot of eyes will be back on that genre. Uh, very, very fun game. I, I enjoyed just dinking around. I never filmed any for the video, but really enjoyed dinking around, tinkering with Prison Architect probably going to jump into prison architect 2 feature it on the channel and uh so you know we'll we'll just have to see how that goes I, a lot of people are thinking um the the frontier uh unlocked will probably be another dud in march um like we mentioned we don't think those are news uh those are news live streams now those are mainly well excuse me we don't think those are breaking news live streams as much as they are news breakdowns, like they're just consolidating all the news from the three or four active titles they have going, and they just kind of talk about it for an hour and a half, I don't think they're going to be doing any, like, breaking big news on those things, unless they say, tune in for a special announcement. Um, they could do that. They could pop that on us. But I think anything like a Planet Coaster 2, anything like that drops will probably come from the official social media handles like Planet Coaster will just tweet it out one day and then it'll make a presence on Frontier Unlocked. But I think now that we've got uh, two of those under our belt, those are it's just a recap live stream. I don't think any big news is going to come from those. But I think once we get into April and May, um, you know, hopefully more news will start trickling out. We'll get really into the springtime and uh, hopefully they will go ahead and announce whatever is most likely coming this fall, I would say, possibly summer, but I'm kind of leaning more towards fall now. We'll probably get a big spring, early summer announcement followed by a fall release to kind of build the hype up see if they're going to let people into a beta early like they did with uh, Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, and we'll kind of see how that goes. But anyways, let me know your thoughts down below on how plausible you think any of these titles are, or if you're excited for any of these titles, or you absolutely don't care about any of the ones that they've trademarked. But anyways, let me know down below. I'll yell at you guys in the next video. See ya!